And joining us live from Calgary, Canada, is legal um, pardon, medical practitioner, Dr. Emmanuel Ogali. Thank you, doctor, for joining us. Thank you very much. Nice to be with you. Can you bring us up to speed on the current situation of the pandemic in Canada? Thank you very much. Just like everywhere else in the world, Canada has its fair share of uh, cases of the COVID-19. Uh, just today, uh, the total confirmed cases in Canada stands at 24,833. Um, we have a total number of deaths of 735. Um, about 7,412 people have recovered. Uh, that's uh, Canada statistics. But here in Alberta, Calgary, where I live, uh, we have a total number of cases, um, 1,651. We have had uh, 44 deaths altogether, and 823 people have recovered. Now, the public health agency said that the total number of diagnosed coronavirus had risen to 24,804. Can, can you take us through the process as, as fast as you can, as fast as possible? Well, the first confirmed case in Canada was early January. I would say January 15 or thereabout. Uh, this was mainly from travelers coming back to Canada from other parts of the world. Uh, the cases have risen since then. They've risen gradually. And, um, of course, every day we've had new cases. Um, there have been a number of measures that have been put in place to flatten the curve to make sure that the new cases uh, start declining. We haven't got there yet, but we're hoping that the cases, I mean, the um, the processes that we put in place, the public health uh, policies that have been put out could help us to stem the tide, um, bring the cases down and flatten the curve. All right. Now, there's, there's a concern about um, the capacity of testing, testing kits, especially in um, some countries in Africa and my country and Nigeria, we, we have um, the, te the testing capacity not been up to par to actually do as much as it should. W what is the testing capacity like in, in Canada? Well, so far we haven't had um, we haven't had um, a huge problem with testing, and the reason is just because uh, of screening. We try to make sure that people are properly screened before they are tested. Um, there are screening procedures that have been adopted. When someone shows symptoms, and the symptoms that we look out for include cough, shortness of breath, uh, ruddy nose, fever could be a generalized body pain. When we have these cases, initially we add uh, a factor like if the person has traveled in the last two weeks. But right now we're having community transmission as well. So um, if someone has made contact with someone else who has been sick, or even if they haven't, but if the cases fit you know, the description, we, we, we get those people tested. We haven't had a huge problem with testing uh, in terms of, uh, you know, testing facilities. We've had uh, everyone that needed to be tested have been tested and uh, documented. And we encourage people to come forward when they have symptoms so that uh, we don't have people transmit this virus asymptomatically. Dr. Manuel, thank you for joining us and for your time. Thank you very much.